to, I don't know, you guys can't see this very well, but yeah, that is the build up right there. That's the build up. So, now I'm going to remember the date. I'm going to put it in the description box, but I had this doubt in my hair since the end of September. I had it since September, it is now December 2nd. And I'm taking down my braids. Well, these twists. And I want to give you guys um, some details on what I'm doing to take them out. And I also want to give you guys both a pros and a cons of having these in my hair. Now, one thing I am going to guys, tell you guys is that I probably will not be doing these again. Like, I'm going to try some different styles, but I probably won't be doing these again um, for two reasons. <clears throat> Even though they look nice. Um, they're messy looking so I like the messy look that they give um, and that you know it's, it's a good protective styling it's one hard to take out which is why I probably won't be taking them on again I'm doing it again and, it's, and I don't know if it's hard to take out because I have the twist in um, but I think it would even be harder if I didn't have the twist in see what I'm saying because these twists are they're not separated you know what I mean like it's just one twist that I have to take out it should be easier for me to take these out than it is for me to take out the actual um, if my hair was loose um, that was just one reason the second reason is that when I put these in my hair and maybe that this wouldn't apply to everybody but this applied to me it was so heavy I mean so heavy and reason being is because I did as many packs I think I did just a little bit less than what um, the boho babe did on her client and herself so, if, I don't know, maybe it's just me, um, this might not apply to everybody, but I know this will apply to people who have sensitive scalps, um, sensitive head, they get headaches quick, things like, things of that nature. <coughs> Sorry. And I do have sensitive scalps, so these were very heavy. I mean, whenever I didn't have them down, they were heavy. Now, when I first put them in, I didn't get any of that, like, the first week or two weeks, they were good. They weren't heavy or anything like that. But I think the longer it stayed in my hair, obviously your hair grows. The twist, as you guys can see, here's the twist. Here's my hair, right here, and here's the twist. So that's the build up. It starts to hang from your hair, and it starts to pull at your hair. And again with this one as well, you see here's the twist. I'm touching it, and here's my hair. It starts to hang and it starts to pull and I had a really bad issue with that all in this area I mean this like it still hurts right now because it's so sensitive up here and with the hair the heavy hair pulling at my scalp it just hurt so bad so some nights like it was just hard so I won't be putting these back in my hair again I don't know maybe there's like some other type of hair that I can use to make them have less weight but yeah um that's one thing so i am going to show you guys what i'm doing to take them down if you guys think that there's a better way i can take this down than what i'm doing let me know but right now this is the best way i found to take them down myself so i'm going to take this one that's over here i'm gonna put these up so right now what i'm doing is here's my hair here is one of my twisty so i'm just gonna pull that out because it's just like i said it's just a mini twist so here's the twist right here so i know my hair is no further than here i'm not gonna cut right there i'm gonna cut down probably a little bit further so i'm gonna cut down here I'm cut right here so there and again you guys because they are messy twists they are really tangly so yeah it's tangled it's tangled you know and it's hard to take down here that's tangled but once you get by your hair it should be just a little bit easier to take them down but you see here's what i'm doing and then as you guys can see when i get right here i just unwind my hair pull out my twist pull it out and because i have many twists this is too many twists you guys this is two this is too many twists together um i think this is two let me see yeah that's two that's too many twists 
and I can't pull them apart because all of the buildup that's right here I can't pull those apart so I'll show you guys another video on what I'm doing to get um, that buildup out of my hair and pretty much um, cleanse my hair which will simply be a apple cider vinegar rinse but yeah I'll show you guys that one in another video um, but yeah I'm just simply going through and doing my hair now not all I can't see where my hair at in every one yeah see so this is one where I can't see where my hair is at I don't know yeah I can't tell so I'm gonna take from a loose part that I can probably fill and I'm going to start pulling it apart and then I can start seeing where my hair is at there it is here it is and I'm going to pull that out stretch it to see how long and go down further and cut now this is just the method that I'm using simply because I have the mini twist in my hair it's easier for me to do that to do it that way but if you have loose hair I don't think it would be that simple because your loose hair is going to blend in with this hair that's just it your loose hair is going to be blend in so how you're doing it and how I'm doing it is going to be two separate things but this is how I'm taking out my passion twist and yeah so once I get up here I just again take it down <coughs> the best I can and yeah I think that's gonna be it look at all that dirt you guys I know that's nasty but just look at that it's nasty look. oh that's so disgusting um this is not just dirt you guys this is gel it's gel too because I do uh put gel on my edges so that's gel build up anyway so I guess while I'm taking down my hair I'm gonna start talking to you guys about the pros and the cons um like I said I told you guys I won't be putting these back in but hopefully I can multitask take these down as well as talk to you guys so um pros um things I've mentioned is that this is the messy hairstyle I like messy hairstyles I think they suit me personally I think they you know look pretty good for for me I like it and this is one of those styles that I absolutely love there was a messy hairdo and no matter how old it got it still looked good because it was a messy hairstyle so no matter how, no matter how old the hairstyle starts to get you guys you guys can pretty much still wear it you know that's if it, that's what you you know you you like to wear but if you're that type of person who you like you know you like neat twists and neat braids and things of that nature and this wouldn't be for you so that was another pro you know um is the fact that when the hairstyle got old you could still wear it that is definitely a pro to this hairstyle um so you're able to wear it for a little bit of time because of that it was pretty easy for me to put these in um yeah it was pretty easy there were there's three different methods that i know of of how to put these in um, two of which I showed you guys in my previous video but they're definitely easy to put in um, so yeah that's another pro they look great you know I did get compliments on my hairstyle and that people loved it especially when I did put it up whenever I can take putting it up um, I did get compliments on my hairstyle so that was great um, I don't know how many more pros other than how they look and what I liked about them. Um, I guess I'll move into the cons because that's pretty much all there was for me. Cons of this hairstyle was definitely the weight of the hair. And I don't know if maybe I had made them um, shorter. I don't know because I did have them kind of like further down like down here. Probably even further than that. I don't know. I don't remember guys I can probably take this out and I'll see but probably because of so much hair hanging from all of the hair it was so heavy I mean so like I said the first week or two weeks I have putting I was putting it up and it didn't bother me like it was okay and I don't know if it's because I just really like the hairstyle that it was okay but once it started to like get a little bit older and it started to pull at their roots which is another con um, but braids do that they pull at the roots once they start to get old because your hair is growing and the braid is moving down 
but yeah I, I honestly did not like that it was too heavy it gave me headaches I literally was taking Tylenol to sleep like it, I think at some point I just stopped wearing their hair up like I just didn't wear it up anymore um because if I wore it up I knew I was going to get a headache I didn't wear it up when I was at work because I was going to get a headache so I just stopped wearing it up I just started wearing it down in like a low bun or just down and just like twisted the front up into like a style or something like that like that's what I did um to keep me from getting headaches yeah so that that's another con um oh you know what a pro is is the price um now if you are getting it done by someone it's different everyone someone might charge you a different price i don't know but if you're doing it yourself i think it is a fairly good hairstyle for the price that it is um i'll put it in the description about how much i paid but i remember like paying no more than like 24 dollars or something for all packs and i think i bought like five packs or something like that so it was pretty cheap and i think i did with four and a half packs i used four and a half packs because i still have a pack and a half in there so yeah um, it was pretty cheap. So it's a cheap hairstyle. Um, so if you want something that's protective and cheap, this is a good hairstyle for you. And I would suggest, if you do not want to have to deal with the heaviness of the braids, probably try less braids, less hair. That simple. You do less braids, less hair, which means that your, your boxes need to be bigger. You can't have these small behind boxes that I did or, you know, like the Boho Baby and them, they did smaller boxes. I think I did really smaller boxes, but if you have smaller boxes, you're going to use more hair. That's, it's just that simple. But if you have less boxes, less hair, probably a less headache. I haven't had this style with less hair in my hair. I had just the full head of hair and it gave me a headache. So I'm guessing that if I, did, if I was to do it that way, that would be, you know, easier, but yeah anyway so that might work for if the braids are heavy um i don't really think it was many cons other than that the only cons that i didn't like was the fact that um the hair was heavy and the takedown as well um i mean i guess it's not that bad but at the same time because the hair is tangled it's hard to you know figure out what to cut at whatever so that's another con, but it's not that bad. But I will not be getting these in my hair again because it was, it just gave me headaches. It just gave me headaches. So yeah. But uh, you guys, my hair hurts so bad. Like, my hair hurts so bad. All in this area, like all this area where my part was, headache, headache, headache. Like, my hair was pulling you guys from these long behind passion twists. Like, <sighs> I thought by putting it up that it wouldn't pull at the scalp anymore. So I thought I was doing myself a favor by pulling my hair up into a bun. But no. Like it made it worse. Like I pulled my hair up in a bun and I had a headache. I left it down. Then all of this would hurt because then the hair was pulling down and it was giving me a headache too. So yeah, I don't think I'll be doing these again. And if I was to ever do them again, I definitely, definitely, definitely would do less braids, less hair. And I'll show you guys if I was to ever do them again. But I'm going to move on to another style. Um, my next video, I'll be showing you guys how I... Um, watch these. Well, yeah, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you for um, pretty much, you know, watching my previous video and commenting and liking and letting me know what you guys think. Again, as I say to you guys, let me know what you guys also think to this video in the comments below. Like, share, whatever you guys want to do. And I'll try to come back and show you what my hair looks after this nastiness. Anyway, bye guys.